again woofing, woofing. I'ma let them have it. I don't know about you, but I don't run from action. I'm up with gun clapping, gotta be. Really, the media tell us if somebody try to fight you, fight them back. Shooting's okay, fighting's okay. Like people say, walk away from fights or arguments, that don't exist to me. Because doesn't nobody do that. My community is usually violent, so I see them fist fighting, shootings. Nobody's stopping it. They just letting it keep going on. Nobody's saying this needs to be stopped or not enough people. I was in uh, eighth grade. I was on my way to school when these dudes stopped me. They asked me, well, what was I? I told them I was nothing, but they didn't believe me. So I turned my head slightly. I noticed somebody that I knew. I'm looking for him for help, but he didn't help me. After we got done fighting, he finally came up to me. It was like, oh, he all good. And I was like, you couldn't say that before? Stories like this are common in our neighborhood. Every day is a test. You never get to rest. Unfortunately, it doesn't stop when you get to school. When I was walking in my classroom, the police officer told me to go to my classroom, and I told him I'm going, and he grabbed me. I said, like, man, let me go. And he didn't let me go, so he took me to the police room, and we was basically just fighting. The principal walked in, and he said he gonna expel me, and they charged me as a delinquent child for Indiana, and I couldn't go to school, no more schools in Indiana, and they tried to expel me to 2012. Existing in the society that we exist in that really focuses a lot on punishment, on discipline, on revenge, does not get to the core of the issues that we deal with person to person. And so restorative justice is one of those concepts of theories that helps us to reevaluate the conflicts that we engage in. Restorative justice is a way that two or more people come up with a solution to a conflict that heals both sides. Restorative justice is different from other kinds of justice that are more punitive because it really takes into consideration all the people that were affected by a specific incident. We as a society don't create space for people to heal and for relationships to build and develop and that relationships aren't something that happen once. You don't have a relationship with a person and then it's just over. And that's what restorative justice is about. This summer, as a community builder youth leader, we learned four techniques that helps heal the problem within the community. Pure mediation, pure juries, restorative chat, and peace circles. Using peace circles, for example, through dialogue, you get a chance to hear all sides of the story. Peer juries are used in schools today because they help students better themselves and make them feel comfortable. Restorative chat is all about communication and dialogue. Peer mediation is when three people join together to resolve a conflict. But it hasn't just been about learning techniques to resolve a conflict. We're changing. We're learning the benefits of restorative justice and the underlying values and how we can use it in our daily lives. CB has given us the skills of forget and forgive and just be peaceful. I used to get irritated really fast, like a lot. But now I've learned to like be patient, not to let everything get to me. You know, there's a mix of messages going on through the media. But the negatives, they try to show it as positive, it's, it tricks you. We are on our way to put posters up in people's stores to let them know about restorative justice. Our marketing campaign was Hit Me Up Before You Shout. So basically, like, we're trying to get everyone to listen to other people's story or whatever they have to say before they shout. It's good to see them out doing something worthwhile. They got something to do and something in their mind. I'm so excited, so, yeah. Mostly they will get our message and understand that we're trying to come together to do better in our community. Today went great. We got to hang up our posters in a couple stores like McDonald's, the corner store. With our marketing campaign, we create images and slogans so the people of the community can learn how to resolve conflict peacefully. 